welcome to this very special edition of the KJ Masterclass Live, the show which ensures that you profit from your time spent here with experts, either through their insights, information, or simply learning from them. And today we have Raman Fisher, high performance coach, actor and model, online fitness coach, and he has helped many people transform their physical and mental health. Welcome to the show, Raman. Yeah, thanks for having me, KJ. It's a pleasure being here. Thank you. Welcome to the show. It's nice to get you on the show. So we'll talk about a good lot of good stuff, how to be even a better you. And you know, welcome to this show. Welcome to India in this online form. And not just, I'm sure not just in India, a lot of people across the globe will be benefiting from, or from your uh, tips and tricks that you'll be sharing on the show for today, tomorrow, and even on blogs where this show will go on. So my first question to you, uh, Roman, is this, that in these times, you know, when a lot of problems are there, less problem, higher problem, no problem, and still there is a problem, and people are full of anxiety. And anxiety is one of the top people talk of mental health, how can I even better better myself? And what are the things that I should be focusing on so that I come to meet the best version of myself every day, each day, and continuously? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Anxiety is one of those things that, you know, plague a lot of people. And it's really difficult to deal with. I know really from personal experience myself that anxiety is something that you really, really, really have to fight through. And it's not something that's just going to go away. And oftentimes it won't really ever go away, but there are ways to at least diminish it or reduce it um, gradually and eventually dramatically. And so I found the best ways and best tips to actually reduce anxiety here is first just realizing that you have that anxiety, realizing the anxiety that you have and understanding and acknowledging that it's there to begin with. When you can finally, uh, when you can finally just realize that it's there and that that anxiety isn't something that's just going to go away, then you can pinpoint how to get rid of it. So the first step is just acknowledging the problem always, just knowing that it's there. And then after realizing that, just take the steps to overcome it. And what I found the best ways to overcome anxiety after acknowledging it is just getting better sleep, trying to get a better sleep routine, because I know better sleep will actually help reduce stress and anxiety naturally. And so things just like getting to bed earlier and practicing a consistent sleep uh, schedule. So you have your body's uh, circadian rhythm and your body needs to know when to go to sleep. So people that don't really go to sleep and get up at the same times, their body gets confused. So it's harder to get, you know, proper, sufficient um, quality sleep. And that will lead to a lot more anxiety then. So just getting that consistent sleep schedule dialed in for yourself and your life. That's, that's another thing after realizing your anxiety. From there, I would really recommend uh, working out at least three days a week, even if it isn't weightlifting, at least just going around uh, the block, maybe just doing some cardio and just getting out there, getting active and getting those endorphins going because endorphins will actually help combat that anxiety and fear. And those endorphins will actually make you happier and just more free and they will uplift you in your life too. So get just getting out there and getting out in into nature, especially that's even one of the better ways because connecting with nature and seeing it for what it is and finding yourself within nature, that's huge. So that's another thing for sure. And then of course, practicing a healthy, uh, consistent diet to you. So I don't usually like using the word diet, but you know, when you eat healthier though, and you eat more organic, especially if you can afford it, just having that, having that, and then a lot more protein too, to maintain that muscle, keep you full longer. And yeah, just practice more of a healthy, you know, eating pattern. And that'll definitely help just your mindset because studies have shown that when you eat less healthy, not only are you not taking care of your body from the inside out, 
but you're actually going to increase, you know, symptoms such as depression, anxiety, and a lot of other things, you know, and sluggishness too. You're going to feel a lot more sluggish when you're not eating healthy and practicing healthy eating habits. So that is also very huge too in itself. From there, I would just write down the things that, you know, you're grateful for. Write down the things that put you at ease. And you could even put it in your phone, but I really just highly recommend writing it pen to paper because there's nothing like that because it gets into your subconscious mind when you can write out word from word, uh, you know, thing from thing, what you are grateful for and what just relaxes your mind and calms your mind. So that's, that's another huge thing that I do myself. So essentially practicing gratitude in a nutshell, that's, that's huge. And then from there, another strong point, I would recommend the people out there that want to reduce and lower their anxiety as a whole, I would say, listen to some white noise or binary beats. And you can actually find that on YouTube. It's totally free. And very easy to do. You just find it on YouTube, find any uh, YouTube channel that has that with the binary beats. And what's cool about this is it not only helps reduce that anxiety and stress from within inside you, but it also helps just perform you a lot at a, at a much higher level. Like you'll actually perform at a much higher level uh, when you do that. So it, 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 it enhances your performance too. Yeah. Absolutely. It enhances the performance now let's deal with anxiety in a bit different manner you are very young a lot of people young people uh what you say will matter to them and a lot of especially young people who should not be anxious about things yeah or should uh, get anxious about maybe maybe a new phone your phone has got some scratch or, or other things, important things, maybe about your career. There are There is a lot of competition. What are the things as a young person would you like to tell them that, okay, these are the things you should be even thinking of and maybe understand, okay, anxious, your anxiousness is a bit okay. But there are so many things where you don't even need to be even giving a thought to it. Yeah. And it is leading to even anxiety level now. How would you like to put that for the, especially the younger generation and, and especially who are into on the mobile phones? There is so much of peer pressure also. If you have an old phone, your other uh, other friends will think, okay, uh, why, why are you not buying the new phone? Or yeah. is it like this? How does this work? And how can they just let go of unnecessary thoughts, unnecessary things that is leading to anxiety? I wanted to touch down on that. Yeah, for sure. That's that's a great, great question there. So honestly, with that being said, I would say the best thing that people could do if they're facing that peer pressure from their friends, family members, uh, potentially even, I would say don't, you know, don't sweat it and just be thankful. And again, just gratitude. Be grateful for what you do currently have and know that more than likely you're you know, richer than most people in the world. You know, they say that people, for example, in America, we're rich, uh, we're richer than most people in other countries uh, by a mar you know, a huge margin. And so just that alone, or people in India, even there's some people that have it a lot better than some people in Africa, and vice versa. But just knowing that you're more than likely better off than most people, I mean, that alone, I would say is is huge. That's everything. So just knowing that you have it better than most people out there, I would say that's a first step. And then from there, just make again, make a list of what you are uh, thankful for, even the small things count everything, the small things, the uh, the mid sized things and the huge things that you're grateful for. And then of course, just acknowledge even your family and how you're grateful for your family. And just anything and everything you can think of, put that to paper, pen to paper, and it, it'll be definitely life changing. You know, it's not something that most people do because most people think it's just so, you know, petty or not really uh, useful, not very helpful by any means. But it, it's very, very helpful. You know, when people actually do it, they'll start realizing, wow, 
<laughs> this actually is a lot more effective than I gave it thought for. So that's something I would definitely recommend. And then just know that, you know, there's always going to be another trend. There's always going to be a new advancement. Yes, it would be cool to have the newest, latest technology. I mean, I love technology, so I can understand that. But understand that while that's true, I mean, I don't even have the newest iPhone. <laughs> so I will say that to you, though. So while I love technology, I'm not, I'm not always one to jump on the trend all the time either. So just knowing there's always going to be something better. There's always going to be, you know, a new advancement which seems to be every six months to a year, especially with these iPhones. But just knowing that you got to just not always follow the crowd and you got to just find your peace and whatever you do. So if, if it's something that's super small and not very important, such as the uh, new iPhone, don't sweat it. Just know that there's always going to be another advancement. So you just got to be content sometimes with what you do have and as long as it gets you through the day, that's all that really, truly matters anyway. But if you want to get the next iPhone, I mean, go for it. But don't feel like you have to stress over that or you have to be pressured into something. Only do something out of your own, you know, free personal will and out of what you really want. And I would say whatever it is in life, even if it's not getting the next iPhone, just do whatever you find the most peace in and the most peace about. Just follow your inner peace essentially, and practice gratitude. Those are the two top uh, takeaway tips, I would say, for that. Absolutely, absolutely. Well well explained, Roman. And so now let's come to the motivation part. And talking of, of games, you know, uh, yeah. you used to play a lot of video games when you were younger. And then you saw your uh, your younger brother uh, lifting weights and, and, and taking care of his fitness. And that is where it came down to your motivation. And, and today it is where you are. We have a actor and model who is here. And, 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 and it is very nice to see, you know, with a, a person who is so fit. And that can be the real inspiration and example for a lot of people. So in terms of motivation, you were motivated by your younger brother. What about the younger people who can be their motivating force? How is it? How do they pick their uh, their motivation from a lot of things which are so fast around their lives? And then that helps them build their life the way they want to be or even better, create a better version of themselves, a better them. Yeah, yeah, definitely. The best way that someone could, you know, find that inner motivation and inner push to actually become better, I would say, yeah, it's just to follow whatever you know positive influence is around you even if you don't know them find the closest uh, sphere of influence possible that will actually help motivate you encourage you and inspire you to become a better version of yourself and that can be fitness related or not fitness related but i would say first find that because that that can definitely help you know just change your life as a whole because i know that's what happened to me Luckily for me, like you were saying, it was my brother, my younger brother of all people who actually inspired me to first jump into fitness to begin with, you know, because again, yeah, I was very much into video games. I didn't, I didn't even give a thought for lifting weights, let alone eating healthy or especially the combination of the two. But yeah, that, that definitely led me on that path. But I would say, you know, anyone out there that's listening right now, currently just get out and find that inspiration even if it means going to YouTube, whatever it is, just find that inspiration, take it from here, take it from any other uh, motivational type video or podcast, and just get that encouragement to get out there and even just get active for even 15 minutes, even if it's just a walk. It doesn't have to be weightlifting, but if you want to build strength and muscle, that's what I would recommend. But even if you're not trying to build muscle, just get out and get active just to feel better. I mean, just that alone. That'll be very helpful. And then from there, I would say beyond finding that inner you know, motivation and uh, motivation from other people, I would say just make a plan, you know, start small, work your way up. So go from small, you know, or go from basically a big goal and break that down to smaller, uh, more manageable goals over time. That way, it'll be less overwhelming and a lot easier to be motivated 
and consistent with. And I also got to add to that because motivation is huge. And I like to say motivation is very helpful. But I also say this motivation gets you going, but consistency keeps you growing. So finding that motivation is key, but also make sure to back it up with consistency. Because if you don't have that consistency, that motivation might inspire you or, you know, light that fire inside you for a moment or a season, but it won't last permanently if you don't have that consistency to back it up thereafter. Absolutely. Absolutely, Roman. And so let's let's approach this. You talked about, you know, about motivation, gratitude, sleep, and, and, and in terms of how to deal with anxiety. Let's put it in a different manner. But the same question almost is that how do we tell people that health is the most important thing you have? When you are, especially when you are young, you don't yep. understand it. But when you are a bit later in life, you understand it. Oh, yeah. You can't change much. And, and it's, with, it's with almost everyone, even with me, is that I wish somebody had told me in a better way I could have. Though people keep on telling it, but you don't grasp it or understand it. So yeah. what would you like to tell in terms of uh, or what do you mean when you say that health is the most important thing that you have? Yeah, 100 percent. I would say with that, health is definitely the most important thing because no matter how much money you have, whether you're rich, poor, or even middle class, and even if you're famous or not famous, whatever your status is with that, if you don't have, you know, that health there, if your health is not in check, if it's not in proper, you know, utmost check, you're not going to really enjoy life, but you're also not going to live as long. And health is definitely the most important thing anybody could ever want or really need. And that's all it is. It's a, it's a necessity because I like to say health is wealth. You know, doesn't matter how many commas are in your bank account. Doesn't matter how much fame you might have or you may not have. Doesn't matter how many friends you have or, uh, you know, how good looking your wife is or whatever it is, you know, um, as long as your health is in check, that's all that matters first and foremost. After that, you know, obviously money is important. Obviously, other things are important to have. And those things, you know, are icing on the cake eventually. But if you don't have your health in check, you won't be able to enjoy those things. And I know from personal experience, yeah, my and it, it was really sad, you know, my grandpa passing away uh, due to cancer and not fully taking care of his health like he could have and should have. But just knowing that, you know, because he had a decent amount of money, but he passed on because of not really fully taking care of his health and being aware of that. So that that is one of those things that really prove it. And I have a family friend even that passed away. He was 25. And that that was even crazier because he was 25. And he passed away like he was an engineer. So he had a lot of money. He was a mechanical engineer. So he made a decent living every year in his life. Um, but he died at 25. And he just drank himself to death, I hate to say. And that's one of those examples, you know, he had a lot of money, but he didn't back it up with his health. So again, no matter how much money you might have with you, if you don't have your health, you won't last and you won't be able to enjoy life and your life could be cut short dramatically. So that's what I would say. That's why you got to really dial it in. You got to take it serious. You know, people at my age, I hate to say it, you know, most people anyway, don't take it serious. And you're so right on that. You know, we really do, especially starting early, got to take it seriously because even if we live longer and we're not eating healthy, eventually it catches up to everyone. You know, no matter who you are, what you look like, where you're from, it catches up to everyone, even people that are rich. So knowing that, just start early and be aware of what happens. Like, even if it means researching, you know, the the um, dangers of not being healthy, whatever, you know, whatever it takes, just build awareness in yourself, have that self awareness. And then from there, it'll be easier to not go down that path or continue down that path of unhealthy living and unhealthy eating. Absolutely, absolutely. Whatever you do, whether you have money or less money or more money, at the end, 
if you are not taking up care of your health in your younger days it will catch up with you when you don't have that much of same amount of uh, strength in your body or that same amount of immunity that god gives you in early stages of life yeah. there is much to learn from you roman i'm sure a lot of people would want to learn more so what is the best way for them to you know to connect with you and learn more from you uh, and also be professionally they can you know learn and be a part of your coaching schedule yeah definitely so if you want to connect with me uh you know shoot me a message or see my profile and see more about what i'm about and the people i've helped with their minds and their bodies with transforming that you can find me at romanfisherofficial.com that's my direct website or you can find me on instagram facebook uh, TikTok or YouTube at my handle, Roman Fisher Official. Absolutely. I'm so, absolutely. I'm sure a lot of people will benefit from you and make they make and find a better version for themselves, uh, you know, and, and live a very healthy uh, life for them. With this, yeah. it's a wrap on this very special edition of the KJ Masterclass Live. Thank you so much indeed for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.